Hello everyone, this is Eat Sleep here from the Techies, and today I'm going to go over the basics of Paint.net. Uh, Paint.net is a free vector and photo imaging program. Pretty much it's a more uh, in-depth version of uh, MS Paint, and it's like a free version of Photoshop, similar to GIMP, but I just prefer this program because it's a little easier to use and just better, I guess, in my opinion, anyways. So first, I'm going to go over the layout of this, so I'm going to remove this stuff. First of all, we have our toolbar over here with the basic uh, gradients, snapping, magnify, uh, cropping stuff. You can drag this. It does snap to areas of interest, so that's pretty cool. Um, under window is our all of our kind of uh, toolbars that we can have, all with hotkeys, F5, F6, F7, and F8. And um, all these are very easy to get, and they can be put pretty much wherever you want. And uh, layers, colors, similar to Photoshop's, uh, how Photoshop does it, with their uh, stuff on the side and ability to do what you want, which is very good. Another thing we have is when we go to open a new one, we have, we can choose the size, the resolution, and the size and the resolution of the uh, pretty much piece of paper that we're going to be working with. And it also does tell you the, uh, how much space it would take up if you would uh, export it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click OK on that. So we have our thing here. Uh, these tools on the left side are uh, gradient, uh, paint bucket, pencil, stamp, that stuff. Pretty much really easy to use. You click on it, you can go up here and choose a type of uh, gradient that you want and just kind of make the gradient, choose the color, and there you go. It's very simple. Um, this program also uses the principle of layers, which means... Uh, for example, if I drew something out and I erased it, uh, if you can see, actually let me make the eraser a bit bigger. Uh, if you see, it actually erases the paper and it, it leaves behind this transparent uh, kind of thing here, which means when you finalize it, you'll just see a transparent area in your paper. Is That's not what you want. So whenever you start to draw something, you want to make sure you have a layer. And then if you go back and draw stuff, uh, let me just take it up a bit. If you draw like that, kind of big, but that's okay. And we can go and uh, when we erase it, as you notice, it leaves the white and our original paper is still there, so that's pretty good. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. And uh, we also have all this kind of, I guess you could call them Bezier tools, where you can create a line and then move the nodes of the line how you see. Like we just made an S. And of course, color changing is very simple, very easy to use. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the drawing part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a quick picture here. So let me find it. It's a good picture. Here it is. Picture of Obama. Obama, and he's achieving becoming president. So I'm going to zoom in on here a little bit, and it is pixelized. But what we want to do is I'm going to apply some uh, basic effects to it. So right here, effects. You can do uh, all kinds of stuff. Blurs, distorting, uh, styling. So I'm just going to quickly go over blurs. If you want to add a blur, very simple. Click on effects, blur. Choose how much blur you want by the radius. And hit OK. There's also stuff like... Uh, where is it? Um, you could also add adjustments like uh, 
how bright you want it or the color curves which changes how much depth or how much of a certain color is used by using luminosity or the RGB scale like so yes like that and you could check which one you want to change so specifically red or blue stuff like that so let me get rid of that and then we have the standard brightness contrast make it really dark really contrasty I think that's a word contrasty like that now he's all cartoony and stuff yeah good stuff inverting colors posterize that's, that's pretty nice yeah that there we go it looks nice right there so um really great program paint.net I recommend getting it if you like photo editing or vector creation um, this has been eat sleep for the techies thank you for watching be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.